and welcome to the fourth annual Celebrating Neurodiversity Awards. My name's Jackie Wallace and I am the CEO of Genius Within, which is a community interest company who are dedicated to the inclusion of all neurodivergent individuals. So before we start, I've just got a few housekeeping notes that I wanted you to all be aware of. For those at home, you've got a link in the chat which will help you access subtitles. You can change these subtitles to be the text size and colour font that suits you best from whatever device you're using. Ooh. From those of you that are in the room, we've got the subtitles on a screen here, so do make sure that you can see those from where you're sitting. We are a fully inclusive event. If the people in the room would like to get up, move around, make noises, or leave and go to the quiet spaces that are at the end of the corridor, please feel free to do so. We are fully inclusive and we have people who represent all of the different neuro minorities in the room, including those people with Tourette's. We have a video later on which does include some swear words. We do not apologise. These are authentic videos that represent the people within our community. But I am warning you just before we start. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> So I'm your host and I am privileged to be so this afternoon. I've got a script because apparently we need to stay on time and I'm not allowed to go off of it. <laughs> As a dyspraxic and dyslexic woman, however, when the nerves kick in, these words in front of me like literally dance off the page. So I have got a couple of people in the room to help me with the script and follow along. I'm also dyspraxic, I might fall off the stage, but hopefully that won't happen. My strengths of being able to communicate verbally and also being able to think on my feet hopefully should keep us on track. We are all here to celebrate our community, so can I ask you to be kind and respectful in all of your comments about the award winners this afternoon. And please do share what you're doing at home on the social media channels that you, that you use using the Celebrating Neurodiversity Awards hashtag, which I think is going to be put up shortly. We're going to be looking at some of the social media posts on our social media wall as we go through the afternoon and see what our community is doing. I'm actually advised there's several watch parties going on and some of them have even got their own red carpet. So here's our agenda for this afternoon in terms of the order we're going to go on. We're going to meet our celebrity ambassador first, then our sponsors. We're going to talk to our amazing judges and then we're going to get on to awarding the awards. We've got Inclusive Education Provider of the Year, Best Assistive Technology of the Year, Inclusion Project of the Year, Neurodiversity Research of the Year, Stereotype Buster of the Year, Inclusive Employer of the Year, a Rising Star Award, the Neuro Minority Achiever of the Year, and we'll be closing with our Community Choice Award. Apparently, that's all going to happen before 5.45. <laughs> so, I would just like to welcome you with a few comments. I'm delighted to have you all here in the room in real life. It's an absolute pleasure to see everybody. And as I look around, I can see our generous sponsors, our amazing judges, and of course, our prize winners this afternoon. My biggest thanks goes to our ND community, who've nominated hundreds of individuals and organisations who are doing great things. But it isn't just us in the room, as I've mentioned. We are, for the first time this year, live streaming to over 500 registered individuals who are running their own watch parties, watching in groups at work, and with many friends, families and allies, and even from all around the world. It is our hope that this event will serve as a deliberate act of celebration, a chance to pause, to reflect on the achievements of our community, an inspiration for others who might feel isolated and alone in their challenges, to offer a moment of solidarity with all marginalised communities. I personally would like to send a message to anyone who still feels that shame, embarrassment or fear of being different. Yes. And if I could talk to my younger self, as well as those people, I would say, you are not broken. You do not need to be fixed. You are okay. In fact, you are more than okay. You are going to be amazing and you will find your own purpose. We are all neurofabulous in all the myriad of ways that we think and we behave. And this afternoon, the neurodiverse community, this is your time to shine. And so 
know, to start this afternoon's ceremony, I would really like to um, welcome Natalie Davison, aka the teacher with Tourette's, to the stage. Natalie appeared in a Channel 5 documentary in August 2021, and we're delighted to have her here with us today. Every year, the Celebrating Neurodiversity Award supports a small neurodiversity charity, or CIC, and I feel really privileged to have been asked to nominate a cause of my choice. I have nominated TikTok therapy because the support and services for people with Tourette's across the UK is minimal, and in some areas there is no support, despite one in 100 children having Tourette's. Sarah is the sole founder and CEO of TikTok therapy, who offers support, information, CBIT therapy to individuals, families and professionals across the country. TikTok therapy clearly understands the sheer lack of services nationwide and I hope that with this generous donation, the amazing education, empowerment and advocacy work Sarah does, TikTok therapy can reach many more individuals and families. Thank you very much, Natalie. And through the generosity of our sponsors, we are delighted to present a cheque today of £2,000. And I'd like to invite Tori from the, our sponsors, EY, to come up and present TikTok therapy. Thank you. Do you want to grab that? Hello, I'm Katrina Campbell, the Client Technology and Innovation Officer here in EY UK and Ireland. And we are absolutely delighted to be the sponsors of the Genius Within Celebrating Neurodiversity Awards. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's lovely to see some real faces. I'm Tori Roberts and I'm the EY UK Neurodiverse Centre of Excellence Leader. Um, thank you, Genius Within, um, for organising and hosting this celebration of neurodiversity and for highlighting the individuals, businesses, organisations and projects that go above and beyond to promote accessibility and inclusion. Every year, Genius Within is overwhelmed with hundreds of entries, and this year was no exception. Today we're recognising amazing people doing amazing things, and we're celebrating the power of diverse thinking. At EY, we're creating an inclusive culture where all our people feel empowered to bring their authentic self to work, to be seen, heard and valued Ooh. for their differences. We've also learnt a great deal ourselves this week during Celebrating University Week. We've had a week of internal events and workshops, all organised by our internal EY neurodiversity community. And we've listened to lived experiences, celebrated strengths and made pledges for further improvement, for inclusion for all. We want to attract and retain people who think differently because this diversity brings us greater innovation, creativity and solves complex problems. This will also help us meet the challenges for our diverse clients and the society we all live and work in. EY is proud to sponsor the awards today and work with Genius Within and others to celebrate neurodiversity. Congratulations to everyone here nominated and the winners. And now I'd like to invite Sarah from TikTok Therapy to come up and receive the check. It's a lot. Yeah. TikTok Therapy CIC. Ticks and Tourette's Support and Therapy Hub. Who am I? Sarah Sharp, founder and active CBIT therapist at TikTok Therapy and Alison, TikTok Therapy's in-house neurodiversity coach. What do we offer? Tick management therapy, ADHD, OCD and anxiety coaching, workshops, one-to-one -one and whole family support, advocacy in school, team meetings and the workplace. Our aim is to educate you enough to feel empowered so you can advocate for yourself. All sessions are run remotely, meaning no increased anxiety around new environments or having to travel. We pride ourselves on supporting the Tourette's community. We work with other charities, schools and local authorities to bridge the gap in services for those with tics and Tourette's syndrome. 
winners in the 2020 PAC Champion Awards and nominated in the 2020 and 2021 National Diversity Awards. Check out the TikTok Therapy website and social media pages for more information, free resources and to book an appointment. Well, there really um, aren't enough words to express how grateful I am. Um, in fact, I really ugly cried when uh, Natalie uh, <laughs> sent me the message and said about it. Um, this amount of money is going to make such a difference. So I did set up my company in 2018, but only in January did I change it to a community interest company to try and really go on a mission to just help more families that can't afford the therapy. And this is going to open up so many doors. Already knowing that this was coming, I've been able to kind of start the, the transition of reducing cost of therapy and the educational workshops that I run. So it's absolutely uh, catapulted my mission into reality um, in a really short space of time. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. You do have to carry that all the way home on the train. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we're also very incredibly grateful to the London Stock Exchange Group for hosting us here at their Paternoster Square home. And I'd love to invite Bridges Chafford up to say a few words. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. A very warm welcome to all of you to our headquarters here in Paternoster Square. I'm Brigitte Trafford, I'm the Chief Corporate Affairs and Marketing Officer here at ELSEG, and I'm also very proud to be the executive sponsor of our accessibility network here. Diversity and inclusion are very important to us here at ELSEG. We all know that diverse teams are better teams. We want to provide an encouraging space and a platform to elevate and promote diverse talent, to include the presence and voices of our diverse communities throughout every part of our business. And it's not just because it's the right thing to do. Importantly, it's the commercially smart thing to do. But don't take my word for it, just look at the data. Diversity is linked to superior company performance at every level and plays a significant part in talent attraction and retention. In fact, a 2021 report by EY, and I know EY, they're here in the room with us today, demonstrated that almost two thirds of young people entering the workforce feel it's very important to work with an employer that shares their values, such as diversity and inclusion. People from traditionally marginalised and disadvantaged backgrounds and communities bring a perspective and insight that we wouldn't otherwise benefit from, and that includes neurodivergency. The active inclusion of neuro-minorities at ELSEG means we are able to approach our services, our products, our customers, and importantly, each other, in a much more open and progressive way. That, in turn, will lead us to greater commercial success. Done right, inclusion brings a richness to all of our organisations and a depth of connection and creativity which is essential to building a sustainable future for everyone. Earlier this week, we launched ELSEG's sustainability strategy. We aim to empower economies, communities and individuals by championing inclusion and opening up economic opportunity for all. Without neurodivergent minds, we risk inhibiting our ability to create opportunity and enable sustainable growth. The inclusion and recognition of neurodiversity in our people provides us with a rich pool of resilience, lateral thinking, ideas, compassion and understanding. And while I'm proud of what we've achieved so far at ELSEG in our inclusion efforts, I and the rest of the team here know we have a lot more to do. That includes listening and responding to the needs of our neurodiverse people both at work and in our wider communities. Breaking biases and increasing awareness and education is fundamental to achieving this. And that's why events like these and celebrating Neurodiversity Week are so important. They help foster an environment where everyone can be openly themselves at work, feel valued, appreciated and safe, and in turn bring highly valuable contributions to everything that we do. Hosting these awards is a wonderful way to show our collective commitment to, to, uh, towards and to celebrate neurodiverse talent. I'd like to thank Jackie and Genius Within for their exceptional work in supporting neurodivergent people and how it's helping to change the landscape of inclusion. 
very best of luck to all the very worthy nominees, and I think we hope to be among them next year. Uh, forgive me, I have to leave you now because there's a genius within market close going on in about two minutes' time. But I'm sure you'll have a great afternoon, and I look forward to hearing all about it afterwards. I'll now hand you back to Jackie. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bridget, and I hope the market close goes well. Thank you. I don't want to crash the stock market. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, we've heard from EY, and we will hear from our category sponsors as we go through the awards this afternoon. So, uh, let's now take a moment to hear from our award sponsor, Microsoft. Michael Vermeesh recorded a video for us to play today. At Microsoft, we are proud to celebrate neurodiversity and support these awards with genius within. The value proposition for diversity and inclusion within Microsoft is increasingly clear. A diverse and inclusive workforce yields better products and solutions for our customers and better experiences for our employees. We all need to do our part to encourage new and different perspectives, solutions, and innovative ideas to surface from all our employees. This goes beyond recruitment. We need to continue to grow and harness the full spectrum of neurodiverse talent and encourage their involvement, their contribution, their thought leadership. Key to this is to recognize, empower, and celebrate diverse thinkers' achievements. Achievements that lead to products and services, including and empowering everyone, helping us to a world that works for everyone. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Michael. So now I'd like to bring us on to our judges. They had a very difficult job this year. We doubled the amount of nominations that we received and we were totally overwhelmed. To be honest with you, it caught us a little bit on the hop. Um, we absolutely appreciate all of their hard work. Um, and I'd like to welcome to the stage the head judge, Roxanne Hobbs, who will say a few words. And in the meantime, we, we asked the judges what celebrating neurodiversity meant to them. Hi, I'm Roxanne Hobbs. What celebrating neurodiversity means to me is about breaking down the stigma that is associated with neurodiversity. I think we spend and historically have spent so much time talking about disorders and deficits and things that are wrong. And of course, we know that people who identify as neurodiverse or neurodivergent have got so much to offer and I think Celebrating this really supports us to break down those stereotypes that exist in our society. It means to celebrate the um, neurodiversity for me is to shine the light on the best, the best practice, the best talent, and the wonderful um, neurodiverse uh, people who are doing an amazing work out there. I'm honoured to be one of the judges for this year's awards. It was amazing to read so many wonderful nominations and it made our job really hard. Frankly, I'd have loved to have given out 250 awards. Celebrating neurodiversity means celebrating and accepting different minds and recognising the amazing creative spaces we can create when we're able to work at our best. I'm really sorry I'm not there with you today. Have a great celebration. Bye. For me, celebrating neurodiversity awards is celebrating the fact that no two brains are the same. We are all unique, and these, these, that uniqueness needs to be celebrated. 
you know we live in a world that um, says you have to be a specific way what celebrating neurodiversity celebrates the heterogeneity of the human mind the uniqueness and especially the the people are the people at the extreme end of the bell curve as it were and this is why this is really really important Hi everybody, my name is Marcia and I am a judge and I am part of the Neurodiversity Celebration Awards and I just want to say I remember not feeling I had a voice and I just feel empowered by today and inspired by all the amazing people who are going to be awarded and all the people who did it but they are just as amazing as everybody else so good luck everybody Diversity, what does it mean to me? Well in an ideal world we would be here uh, inclusion would be there and there'd be no need to be doing anything like this but we don't live in an ideal world I heard a quote the other day from a wonderful guy I met called Harjay Singh and I'd like to read it out to you because I thought it were very fitting it says until we have inclusion by default we will have to create inclusion by design and I thought that were brilliant thank you very much and have a great evening take care I love that video. Oh, that was so cool. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's a little bit daunting, I have to say, being in front of a live audience again after presenting into my um, camera for the last two years. And it is absolutely wonderful to see some of the judges here um, for the first time in real life. We've had so many meetings over the past two years. So, hi, hi. Where's Marcy? I'm sure she's She's at the closing somewhere. bell ceremony. She'll be here later. <laughs> She'll be here soon. I mean, we were like looking at each other down the corridor and we'd spent so much time together and just wonderful to see you in real life. Um, real privilege to be part of this judging process. And as um, Jackie's already alluded to, it was really, really hard. And I think it was hard for two reasons. One, there were so many entries, so many fantastic entries, and we really wanted to do good by all of those people. We definitely wanted to give out more awards than we were allowed to. And I kept emailing Jackie going, can we just do another runner up in this category as we were trying to whittle it down? And also, and I'm not going to lie, part of the reason it's difficult is all of the judges had their own styles and way of working. So we were like a little microcosm of neurodiversity within the judging panel itself. Um, but do you know what? What made that hard? also is what made that such a enriching and beautiful experience and I know that no stone was left unturned because these people I was working with cared so much about getting to the right results um, people because of the different thinking styles would notice different things in the entries and challenge in different ways and it made it it's such a beautiful thorough enriching experience so thank you so much to all of the judges um and thank you to everybody that that bothered to enter because it was just so wonderful reading all of these stories and just seeing what what is happening in the world at the moment um, we were doing this in january it was a bit of a dark time wasn't it and to read these uplifting stories about all the good that's happening in the world was, was just really beautiful so thank you to genius within and thank you to the judges and thank you to everybody that entered thanks Rob. thank you roxanne and now we're going to get to the awards bit Yay! so we have got our first award, which is the Inclusive Education Provider of the Year. And to announce the nominations, please welcome Naomi Bustelli from category sponsor Phoenix Software. I'm Naomi Buzzertill, one of Phoenix Software's Diversity and Inclusion Leads, and we're proud to support the Celebrating Neurodiversity Awards hosted by Genius Within as part of our continuing commitment to diversity and inclusion in the workplace. We're a disability confident employer dedicated to ensuring that our employees and customers are supported with assisted technology. 
We know that this year has again been very challenging for many of us, especially those with accessibility requirements, and we believe that these awards are important to our colleagues, customers and everyone with neurodiversity needs. Good luck to all of the nominees. <laughs> Accessible education can take many forms. It could be a neurodivergent teacher who knows instinctively how to change the classroom into a more inclusive environment, or it could be an online educator who shares insight and lived experience with those in need of resources and a fresh perspective. The nominees in this category are all making an enormous difference to the world of education, and here they are. Opong, Alexandra Harris, Awesome Training, Comerton Village College, Kerry White, Kingfisher SEMH School, Christy Forbes, Normanhurst School, Ronan Murphy, Whitney Isles. And what an amazing hall of nominations they are. I won't keep you waiting any longer. The runner up is Kerry White. The judges felt that Kerry is a true champion of neurodiversity with a real passion for learning and teaching. Kerry empowers others to enable them to come out of their comfort zone. It's clear that Kerry has impacted the lives of those in education, mainly with employability, which has been greatly beneficial. Congratulations, Kerry. Kerry has organised a watch party so that everybody at the Goodwin Development Trust could get involved. So a big shout out to you all. Kerry also recorded a short video for us to play out. to be here and a thank you to all who kindly nominated. I'm sorry I'm not with you in person today but I am there in spirit and heart. I'm actually up in Hull and I have a wee championing crowd who have wanted to celebrate with me. As you watch this we're gathered together watching the awards on the big screen so do give us a wave. To be commended um, in these set of awards is a sheer delight and truly vocation affirming. As I understand that I'm only one person, yet I've always believed in the importance of taking a proactive approach to involving, collaborating and empowering with others. So it goes without saying that I will be sharing this award with those who have walked alongside me and done their utmost to promote a do good and include mantra. Here's to my family, my employers, my mentors and peers, the funders and the many, many partners. As a final note, of course, save the best to last, I'd like to give the biggest shout out to all the people I've ever had the pleasure of coaching and their families, since really it is from them that I get my bundles of enthusiasm, drive, creativity, will, tenacity and courage to advocate for improved fairness, equality and justice. They're awesome. Goodbye and congratulations to all nominees, fellow runners up and winners. Have fun and enjoy your day. Take care. And the Inclusive Education Provider of the Year winner is Awesome Training. Truly deserving winners, we love to see an autistic led company providing much needed holistic and neurodiversity affirming guidance to parents, carers and teachers. The impact on families is clearly articulated, they really stand apart from the other methods of support currently available. Led by the brilliant Evelyn, awesome training provided a fantastic resource to those wanting to educate themselves about everything from sensory processing to autistic communication styles. The information is very, very affordable and easy to understand so that anyone can quickly find the help that is needed. Congratulations to Awesome Training. Sadly, Evelyn cannot be here with us today, but she has made a video instead. Hi, Evelyn here from Awesome Training. We're just so thrilled to receive the 2022 Celebrating Neurodiversity Award for Most Inclusive Education Provider. Um, we really strive to change the narrative around neurodiversity by working with schools, professionals, organisations, 
and businesses. So it really means an awful lot to have our efforts recognized. So thank you so much again, and I hope you all enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Naomi, and thank you, Evelyn. I will say that those people that haven't received um, their award tonight, well, they will be sent somehow, because they're quite big. Um, but we will get them there. Um, and up, up next is Assistive Technology of the Year, sponsored by Microlink. So please welcome to the stage the lovely Anna Moody. <laughs> Microlink, we are proud to celebrate neurodiversity and support these awards with Genius Within. For nearly 30 years, our company has worked hard to empower disabled people in education and employment. We are immensely proud that our assistive technology tools, industry leading workplace adjustment services, and accessibility solutions help thousands of disabled people thrive in their chosen field every day. Supporting neurodiverse people is an enormous part of the work we do. We believe wholeheartedly in the depth of creativity, unique perspective and wide reaching talents which neurodiverse people have to offer. Like Genius Within and the organisations, individuals celebrated by these awards, our goal is to help shape a society which recognises, values and celebrates the brilliance of neurodiverse people. So it brings everybody at micro in a great sense of pride to sponsor genius women's wonderful neurodiversity awards and it is my personal privilege to present this year's prize for assistive technology implementation thank you and good luck to all well you can see i'm not nasa <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately he couldn't make it today, so um, I'm his marketing director, so he sent me instead, so I'm very happy to be in London. Um, assistive technology is all about removing barriers. The social model of disability tells us that it is our environment that is disabling, and the nominees in this category are all using technology to try and make that environment more inclusive. So let's take a look at the nominations. Akiva, Magical Motors, Seabridge, The Mind Map Store, Timo App. Put that there so I don't break it. <laughs> Some fa fantastic examples of assistive technology there, I'm sure you will agree. Um, designed with neurodivergent. Oh, sorry, sorry, I missed, I skipped it. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, I'm delighted to announce the winner is Timo App. <laughs> Designed with neurodivergent users in mind, Timo App is available now and allows users to plan their days using routines and gives visual prompts and timers to help users stay on task. This mobile app was designed to help with task initiation, focus, working memory and planning. It is incredibly helpful to anyone struggling with executive function issues. Natasha from Timo App is here today to receive the trophy. Please join me. I've got, I, I wouldn't be tech if I didn't have my speech on my phone. Um, so please bear with me. Okay, so we are so excited to win this award. Um, Timo is a visual daily planning app designed to make life less chaotic and the world a little bit more neuroinclusive. Um, I'm accepting this award on behalf of our really hardworking team in Copenhagen. Um, we are a small neurodiverse team, but we are really passionate about making the world a better place for neurodivergent people. 
Uh, we would like to thank the sponsors, MicroLink, and all the other sponsors in the room today who've really worked hard to recognise and celebrate the amazing contributions that um, neurodivergent companies and individuals are making in the world. And a massive thank you to Genius Within um, for organising this amazing event. It's so brilliant to be in the room with so many people that I really admire. It's fantastic. Um, a massive shout out to all our other nominees in this category. You're all doing amazing jobs at the moment, really shaping what supportive um, support aids and assistive technology looks like and changing the world. We're really proud to stand amongst you. And finally, the biggest thanks goes to our incredible users, this amazing neurodivergent community who every day inspire, challenge and motivate us to just make the world a little bit better and a little bit easier um, and really create an app that actually works with our brains and not against it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. And thank you very much, Natasha. And I can say Timo app is very good, actually. Um, so up next, Inclusion Project of the Year. This category is sponsored by Osborne Clark. Please welcome Danielle Kingdom to announce the nominations. Hi, I'm Danielle Kingdom, a partner in Osborne Clark's employment team. And at Osborne Clark, we're proud to celebrate neurodiversity and support these awards with Genius Within. We're delighted to be sponsoring the Inclusion Project of the Year for a second year, and I've been heartened to see that for many of our clients and for my own partnership, neurodiversity and creating an environment where neurodiverse employees can do their best work has been an area of focus and progress over the last 12 months. For some employers, understanding and supporting neurodiverse employees has been a new era of diversity focus. And for others, new initiatives have been launched. Here at Osborne Clark, I'm delighted to be involved myself with launching a neurodiversity network to support our own neurodiverse population. Neurodiverse people make enormous contributions to their workplaces and the fields in which they specialise. But despite this, understanding and support still needs to improve. And there are many neurodiverse employees that still having to fight for understanding at work and facing difficulties that could easily be managed if their employer had more understanding and awareness. As an employment lawyer, I'm focused on taking a role in increasing awareness of the legal rights of neurodiverse employees and the reasonable adjustments that employers can make to the workplace, policies and processes and job roles in order to have a big impact. I've personally seen the significant benefits for employers who do this and create an environment where neurodiverse employees are understood and celebrated. Being part of the Neurodiversity Awards highlights just how many great achievements are being made by companies and individuals who are passionate about those with different and valuable ways of thinking. I'm excited and proud to recognise again for the 2022 awards that the organisations and projects that are doing so much to tackle discrimination and provide an inclusive environment for the valuable neuro minorities. Thank you. Hello everyone. Like some of my previous speakers have said, it is just wonderful to be in a room with live people and such colourful and wonderful people. So thank you for having me here. Um, this category is always so diverse with um, many different projects around the world that we get to hear about. We often hear too much focus about the workplace and education system and forget all the many amazing things in between, from social spaces to art projects, from healthcare to chocolate making. Uh, inclusion projects are all around us. We love to see the ways in which people have been supporting each other in the last year, and I'm so pleased to announce the nominations for the Inclusive Project of the Year. Academy, Babcock Neurodiversity Network, Balfour Beatty, Benedict Phillips Art, Dartmoor Shaw Trust, Displa, Dyspraxia Magazine, Dyspraxic Creative Coaching, Dyspraxic Fitness, Dyspraxic Help for You, Empowerment Passport, Koala Hub, Manchester Tourette's Support Group, Neurodiversity in Business, Society for Neurodiversity, Scottish Women's Well, I could 
to see from just the sheer number of uh, nominees um, and I think it's probably a very difficult job for the judges this year um, which is why it might not surprise you that they've chosen some joint winners so there's two joint winners and um, out of fairness I'm going to announce them alphabetically so that doesn't look like any favouritism so the first up is Babcock Neurodiversity Network <laughs> and Babcock oh thank you I'm going to no do come up come up come up <laughs> <laughs> um, Babcock International is a large organisation that appears to have thrown itself into developing employee neurodiversity networks, but have also taken a step further with outreach work and linked up with STEM, etc. This project could have simply been another workplace network. However, its outreach to schools is particularly innovative and inspirational, reflecting the scores. So very, very many congratulations. Not sure who's going to take that and who'd like to speak, and, but oh, very Thank well you. done. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm totally blown away with how many people you know we, we got selected out of and you guys really do inspire us you know we're at the very start of of this journey you know and congratulations to Balfour BT being joint winners as well thank you to Genius Within for providing us for uh, a platform you know for us you know it's been a goal to win an award over the last four years and amazing to have won it so thank you um, you know, four years ago, we, we started out as a handful of people, you know, and we had one vision, and that was just to help more people. You know, many of us were coming to terms with our, our own diagnosis, you know, really struggling with those things. But, you know, we now stand as a network, having helped over 300 people, 250 members, operating over three different sectors, amazing committees, amazing working groups, and inspirational people that come forward, get screened and assessed. You know, those people that really find the bravery, you know, to make an improvement to themselves going forward you know we're now in a place our colleagues get helped in a third of the time off of the back of the great work you know these people do you know it really is inspirational you know we've created an environment where people will come forward now and say I really really need help and feel comfortable doing it you know we help people in the darkest of places sometimes you know and that is really really difficult you know, for me, the proudest thing that we've done is created an environment, an environment that really does support and help people. And what we have done is shown neurodiversity isn't just about weakness, it's about strength. And when you build on that strength, you can achieve amazing things. You know, I thank my team for not accepting the word no. We hear that so many times. We don't accept that word, no, and that has allowed us to be so progressive. And I'm so proud of that because it's enabled us to push through the boundaries of, of what's possible. But just a huge thank you to the teams, the committees, the working groups, the enabling functions, as well as those people that reach out to us, you know. F you know, if it wasn't for everyone that was involved in the network, we really wouldn't be where we are now. So thank you. And the second joint winner is Balfour Beatty. So Balfour Beatty's entry focused on the creation of neurodiverse friendly workspaces and environment, starting with the building itself rather than just content. The judges felt that the project has the potential to really make a great difference if rolled out. These changes made have resulted in a more accessible and inclusive place to work not only for neurodivergent staff, but also for everyone. Please could Scott and Faye Williams come up to receive their trophy? Or just Scott, just maybe. Yeah. So Faye is oh. very good friend. She didn't turn oh. yeah, out. Oh. Oh. Congratulations, Scott. Would you like to say a couple of words? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this really short. There are a couple of people I want to thank, and that's Rebecca and Louise at Autism Unraveled. Um, they've supported and helped this project quite a bit. Um, and obviously supports me quite a bit too. Um, it all kind of started, um, so I'm autistic and I have ADHD. I'm quite lucky, obviously. 
Um, <laughs> um, um, yeah, so um, obviously it started for me as an idea and as a vision and things to help me out. Everything really is quite simple, um, the changes that we made, um, but obviously they just have such a massive impact and, um, you know, it's so easy to roll out everywhere else as well. I don't really think that it's an expensive way to, to change things either but it's also helping people that we don't normally help we do focus quite a bit on office staff um, particularly within the construction and engineering industry but there's people on the ground that have the same issues and have to have offices that are almost temporary um, that are just horrible they are against everything um, and they don't help anyone out even um people without a neurodiverse condition still have issues with these um, units so it was very much about it's again very much about cost and a business you know needs to worry about cost as well and if we just say it's going to help a small minority of neurodiverse individuals it's less likely to happen because it's not sustainable um, and you know every business has to be sustainable so if we can say it helps everybody else at the same time then why wouldn't we just do it as a standard you know um, so, um, yeah, there's someone else I have to thank as well, and no one else has done it yet, but my mom. Um, my mom, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she is, she is my biggest support. Obviously, I wouldn't be where I am today without her totally, and um, I owe her quite a bit. So, um, and I do want to thank Faye, my girlfriend, again for supporting me, but sadly she can be here, so it's just me. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you, Danielle. Congratulations to Babcock, Babcock International. Thank, um, congratulations to Balfour BT on their successful inclusion projects. Next up, the uh, Neurodiversity Research of the Year. This category is sponsored by Birkbeck University, and I'd like to welcome to the stage Professor Al McDowell, a Professor of Organisational Psychology, to announce the nominees. <laughs> So representing the Centre for Neurodiversity Research at Work at Birkbeck College in the University of London, um, I am delighted to be joined by my co-director, Alma McDowell, and two members of our centre, Charlie Acton and Matthew Bell. And we'd just like to take a few seconds to tell you why we think uh, it is really important to amplify uh, the great neurodiversity research that's coming out now more than ever um, and why we have sponsored this award. Alma, for you. So to make that point, let me tell you a little story. I was just chatting to my sister the other day about the hopefully pending diagnosis for my nephew, when you would meet, you would realise who's very neurodiverse. They're now on the waiting list for the waiting list for an NHS diagnosis. But the Senco at the school just turned around to my sister and said, do you know, Louisa, we know your son is different. And what we will do is simply support him by working differently with him so that we can all get the best out of your little chap. Isn't that a lovely mindset? And wouldn't it be lovely if all workplaces would think like that? But in order to do that, we need an evidence base. And that's why we so need more research on neurodiversity. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, and yes, we know we know people are different and we'll just work with them in a different way. That's that's just that's gorgeous. So, Charlie, for you, what's important about amplifying neurodiversity research? Um, I guess it's it's just become so apparent to me uh, since doing my own research how little information there is out there, how little research, particularly as part of the social model and, you know, through my own lived experience and, and working alongside clients, what we do know um, is, is that there's this big gap between researchers and practitioners. And so for me personally, it, it's so exciting to actually be a psychologist um, at the chalk face who's also contributing to society being a better place and I know that sounds a bit twee but it, it's the absolute truth of it it feels it's such a special area and the momentum is is gaining so fast um it's a real it's a special tipping point um in this very niche field um, and I feel I can make a difference with my own work which is just so exciting mm. 
That's lovely, Charlie. Thank you. It does feel like it's at a tipping point, doesn't it? So, Matthew, for you, you're a PhD student at Birkbeck, part of the centre. What's important for you about amplifying um, neurodiversity research at the moment? I think the fundamental um, aspect of raising awareness of this is one of the key questions of our time. It's one of the last debates in diversity left that hasn't really been settled from my practice throughout the years i've seen strengths in individuals with neurodiversity uh, that haven't been seen in other areas and i've seen areas of development where people need to be supported and i've seen people in in corporate organizational society that need support and uh, to develop their understanding on how to work with individuals and be able to raise them up to be able to achieve the best possible outcomes. That's why I think it needs to be raised up now. Wonderful. Raising people up to reach the best possible outcomes. Um, and one of the things that I really like about our research centre is how we have um, a blend of lived experience, allyship, different professional backgrounds. Some people are coming in from education, from, from human resources, from uh, company leadership, um, from clinical practice. And so we're, we're a really multidisciplinary team. And, and something that, um, that you that said, said as well, Charlie, struck me about that tipping point. For me, it's absolutely important. If you're going to go where there is no path, you've got to leave a track. Trail. And so the research for me is us leaving a trail. It's us investing in capturing this knowledge that we're that we're generating in our practice, in our advocacy, in and making sure that it actually lays the groundwork for future policy and future kind of growth of the institutions that are currently where we need to do the work to um, to, to make make the world neuro, more neuro inclusive. So anyway, good luck to all the people that have um been uh, nominated for an award. Remember next year you can nominate. There's no, you know, you don't have to be a special person to nominate. You can just, well, you just have to go online and nominate the neurodiversity research that you think has, has really made a difference. Good luck to all of our um, nominees and thank you very much. <laughs>
thank you so much to the organisers and to the judges and to Black Bike for sponsoring it. Um, massive thank you to the many PhD students, the research assistants, the postdocs who do all of the real work. Um, thanks to the funders who keep funding our work, especially to the Medical Research Council and the taxpayer. Um, thanks to our collaborators, especially Sue Fletcher Watson and Joni Holmes and Sue Gathercol, um, who we've written so many of the papers with. And the biggest thank you of all goes to the, um, the neurodiverse young people and their families, without whom none of our research would be possible. And I think for far too long, many neurodiverse people have felt excluded from research. Um, and I once heard a participant oh. say, our data is, is our story, and we want that story told. Um, and I'm really glad that we can be a small part of doing that. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yarmouth. And congratulations to Duncan and the team at the Astor Lab. So... Ooh. little break in the middle. We've had four awards. So um, we spend a lot of time when we do these awards talking about the diversity and the colourful nature of our nominees. And we thought it would be really nice to hear from one of our um, runners-up from last year's awards. And um, I've got a little video from Sab Samuel, who is aka Ada HD, who is a fabulous drag queen, who reads books about inclusion to kids. Because, frankly, listening to stories has never been so fabulous. Hello, everybody! My name is Ada HD, the Storytime Drag Queen, a.k.a. Sub Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, but... <laughs> I read stories to children all across the country in the United Kingdom. I read stories about inclusion, diversity, LGBTQ, culture, racism, and neurodivergence. Being an ADHD and neurodivergent autistic person myself, I think it's so important to take who you are and expand on it and actually tell people, not to just accept people for being different, but to love it as well. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you very much to the amazing Ada HD for providing us with that video. So before we can move on to the next category, I'm going to be on the move over here to our social media wall, aren't I? Hopefully. <laughs> right, so channeling my inner Annika Rice, um, let's have a look at what's been going on. So over here, this is our amazing uh, director, Fiona Barrett, who's been doing the Close the Market. So they've just been presented with the Close the Market Award and hopefully we'll be lingering outside here for a glass of something nice after we've finished. We've got someone watching in Finland. Yeah, no red carpet, I know. We, uh, we have been raised the bar by the red carpet. We're definitely going to need one next year. Uh, Mike Link, thank you very much in the room and doing this. It's very multitasking. Uh, we've got some amazing um, uh, congratulations for the Timo app. We've got some uh, people talking about... Um, I, uh, yeah, awesome. Ireland, very worthy winners. We quite agree. So if everybody's watching at home, please continue to use the hashtag and keep sharing what you're doing, pictures of you in your watch parties, and we will keep sharing the inspirational stories. So we're going to move on to the next category. This is Stereotype Buster of the Year. And please welcome to the stage James Hanahan from category sponsor Hayes Technology. <laughs> At Hayes Technology, we are proud to celebrate and passionate about neurodiversity and support these awards with Genius Within. The awards are for a fantastic opportunity to recognise and celebrate talents, strengths and successes within the neurodivergent community. We all think and learn in different ways and every kind of mind brings something unique to the table. When it comes to employment opportunities for neurodiverse thinkers, Unfortunately, the landscape tends to be filled with challenges rather than opportunities. What is important for us is to support and facilitate these opportunities and ensure employers are broadening their talent communities with diverse thinkers. We are working hard with employers to help them to engage, attract 
retain and create the right working environments for neurodiverse talent to flourish and maximise their potentials. By recognising and adjusting to the talents and needs of neurodiverse individuals, employers can support their employees and in turn their own organisation to flourish and succeed. We are really proud to be sponsoring the Stereotype Buster Award, which celebrates those that do things in their own way and prove that narrow stereotypes cannot adequately describe the human experience. We're looking forward to hearing all your stories and crowning the winner. So thank you to everyone who has supported the awards so far. Good afternoon, everybody. It's an absolute privilege uh, to be here this afternoon. Uh, my colleague Yvonne and I are absolutely delighted. Anyone who belongs to a marginalised community will know how it feels to be misunderstood or potentially pigeonholed. In the stereotype buster category, we recognise an individual who has challenged perceptions <coughs> and motivated others to do the same using their inner genius. And the nominations are... Adam Geddes, Dr. Adi Adelaine, Aqua Opong, Alex Manners, Anthony Badanovic, Becca Laurie Hector, Billy from Dyspraxic Help For You, Duncan Casburn, Displa, Dyspraxia Magazine, Ellie Middleton, Emma Brown and Rory Argyle, Hannah Crowley, James Tortoise, Jess Gosling, Jessica Dark, John Reeves, Cassia Wojciechowska, Louise Gooding, Magnus Hedemark, Marcia Brissett Bailey, Marie Hansen MBE, Natasha Trotman, Nematula Ahangosh, Paul McAuliffe, Samantha Hugh, Sandra Coral, Sophie Goldsbury, Theo Goff. As you've just seen, so many brilliant brains and entries into this category. Uh, judging was, as always, particularly tough, um, but I'm delighted to firstly announce the runner-up and a huge congratulations to Hannah Crowley. The judges loved reading about Hannah's story and achievements. Highlights included playing premiership football with dyspraxia and performing brilliantly at school, being consistently empathetic and caring. Congratulations, Hannah. And now on to the stereotype buster She's got a little video of the year yes. winner, which will follow this video. <laughs> You were right, I was wrong. Carry on. <laughs> the video will follow shortly. Um, and, and the winner, I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of um, spending some time with um, over a, a, a quick um, glass of bubbles before we kicked off. So a huge congratulations to a very inspiring Marie Hansen MBE. Marie is an absolute trailblazer. She, she has overcome huge adversity in her life to inspire many women and help countless families. She spends much of her time volunteering and working in her local community and was awarded an MBE for her work with young people and survivors of abuse. A true embodiment of the phrase, where there's a will, there's a way. Congratulations, Marie. Thank Truly you. inspiring. Well, I didn't think I'd get a award for being dyslexic. <laughs> um, yeah, all my life um, I've been dyslexic, of course. Um, I've started my organisation 19 years ago. I started off with four women. Now I work for over 3,000, over 1,000 children. Um, I've 
got um, my own AQA in dyslexia as well and SEN for we do te- teach training courses at Storm. That's my name, organisation. And because uh, I'm dyslexic and I wasn't, no one, <coughs> sorry, no one um, found out my not to us at a very old age. So I all all my life I've been called dumb. <laughs> but to all my life, yeah, I've been called dumb and you can't read, you can't write, you can't spell. But anyway, I went through domestic violence and I international makeup parts by Trey, got my own makeup line and all the rest of it. And um I decided to set up an organisation to I I went through domestic violence. And basically it's been as I said, it's been running nineteen years and yeah, I'm so grateful for all the women that I've helped through domestic violence. And this board's not for me, it's for all you women that have gone through domestic violence and come out the other side and got dyslexia and doing absolutely well now. So I'd just like to say thank you so much. So much. Wow, well, thank you very much, Marie. Dyslexics are the best, anyway. (laughs) The next award is a new one for this year, the Inclusive Employer of the Year category, and it is sponsored by our friends at Babcock. We wanted to include an award that recognised the projects that were happening within the workplaces and and celebrate those successes. To present this award, please welcome back to the stage Wayne Kelly, Neurodiversity Network Chair, to announce the nominations. Hello, my name is Wayne Kelly. I'm the Global Neurodiversity Chair here at Babcock International. As a business, we are so excited and incredibly proud to be sponsoring this year's Most Inclusive Employer Award. For us, this award represents someone that goes out of its way to support and enable neurodiverse people. It will be someone that goes out of their way to adapt tools, processes, as well as procedures to ensure that neurodiverse people come into the workplace and can deliver the value that we know that they can bring with a different type of thinking. This award will naturally go to someone that creates an inclusive environment that harvests and empowers neurodiverse people to bring that different way of thinking to bring a huge amount of value to their individual business. We are so proud to be supporting this year's Most Inclusive Employers Award and we wish the very best of luck to tonight's nominees. Thank you. Yeah, that, that video was shot from my broom cupboard. I was in there for two years with a shark hoover and 78 bags for life. It took me two years to get the video right, I tell you. The 278 takes that took. <laughs> Didn't realise I went on for so long. <laughs> um, a new category... A new category for this year, Inclusive Employer of the Year, takes the time to celebrate organisations who are leading the way in neuroinclusion. We believe that neurodiversity is an asset to any business and that widespread systematic inclusion should be the goal. So let's take a look at the nominations. Dr Addie Adelaine. Admiral Group, Capco, Civil Service Fast Stream, Cubelinks, East Sussex Fire and Rescue, Jeff Bryan, Lloyd's Banking, Mary Francis Trust, Dr. Nancy Doyle, NatWest Group, Neurodiversity at IBM, Northumbria Police, Sarah Chapman, Shropshire Fire and Rescue, Science and Technology Facilities Council, Ultranauts Inc. What a great selection of inclusive employers, and I'm delighted to announce the runner-up is Capco. The judges felt Capco are genuinely working from the inside out as an organisation, leading from the front with great leadership and management of inclusivity and equality. Congratulations to Capco. Thank you so much for hosting us here today. 
Capco is extremely honored uh, and proud to be awarded as the runner-up for the Most Inclusive Employer Award. As a financial services consultancy with over 6,000 employees across the globe, we recognize that we have an obligation to grow our business in a way that is sensitive to our values and the interests of our clients, our people, the markets that we serve, and the broader communities in which we operate. We're very proud of our highly diverse workforce, whether in terms of skill set, culture, age, gender, and of course, ability. Our strong culture of inclusion is built on our Be Yourself at Work movement and integrity fueled by a network of employee-led affinity groups such as our DEI and neurodiversity networks whose con continuous efforts have made receiving this award possible today. Thank you for all of your efforts uh, and of course to Genius Within for organizing this award and this fantastic event. Thank you. And the Inclusive Employer of the Year is Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service. <laughs> Shropshire Fire and Rescue have shown great initiative in setting up a new group for staff members to have a safe space to find their voice. There is a real genuine mission to support individual staff members by providing support and equal access to opportunities and resources of inclusivity for all staff at the Brigade. I'll pass you over to Dan. Well done, Dan. Wow, thank you. Isn't it great to be back in, back in the room with, uh, with everyone? Um, what an honour to win this prestigious award, uh, the, the most inclusive employer on behalf of Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service, especially given the other excellent nominees uh, in this category. Uh, thank you to Genius Within uh, for the work that you do. Uh, thank you to the category sponsor, Babcock, the event sponsors for this afternoon, and London Stock Exchange for ho hosting us. I'm delighted that we have won this award which recognises uh, the, what the work the service does to ensure that we have a diverse and inclusive workforce. At Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service, we pride ourselves on supporting everyone to reach their potential. Since our first dyslexia assessment over 15 years ago, we've been working to create a supportive culture where people's differences are embraced, celebrated, including neurodiversity. Having staff who think differently and work in an alternative way is seen as a huge asset to the service and positive influence on the services we provide to the community. We encourage our managers and leaders to see the person to understand their strengths to, and to play to them. We create an environment where everyone can excel and no one is let out. The contribution that everyone makes to our workplace is valuable and we work hard to understand the barriers individuals may face to remove them. <laughs> I myself are dyslexic, something I wasn't diagnosed with until I joined Shropshire and Fire and Rescue Service in January last year. This is something I've been battling for over 20 years of my career. The culture in the service, purposely inclusive and supportive, which allowed me the reassurance to be open about my challenges. Once I understood why I saw the word differently, a light bulb moment that many of our diverse um, staff experience opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Over the last 15 years, we have supported nearly 150 members of staff and are currently supporting 30 staff with their neurodiversity journey. Whether it's small things that can have a big impact, such as cream paper and uh, all our emails using dyslexic font, um, to the big interventions, such as software tuition and one-to-one -one support from our EDI teams and our training teams. Over the last couple of years, we've established our voices group. The voices group, made up of volunteers, is a single group with many different voices, all supporting their colleagues to provide contacts for underrepresented groups to ensure everyone is heard. Uh, and we recognise that everyone has the ability and we encourage them to share their skills, knowledge and experience with us. We understand that much of this comes down to communication, how people give and receive information. 
At Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service, we embrace and encourage the aspirations which lead to us having a confident and positive team, one that I'm very proud to be part of. This award recognises the excellent staff that work in Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service. On behalf of the Chief Fire Officer and the Chair of the Fire Authority, I'd like to thank all of our staff, especially our EDI teams, who have made this award possible. Thank you. Right, um, why is some up here representing Babcock International? I've been asked to announce a celebrating um, neurodiversity awards, the Rising Star. The Rising Star Award recognises someone who has made a great impact in a short space of time. Although nominated in the Neuro Minority Achiever category, which is coming next, this nominee is being honoured with this standalone award and as this person's employers, we are incredibly proud and pleased to present this to him. Please welcome to the stage, John Hellowell. You know, John has overcome so many personal hurdles to get to where he is today. To, to be working in a FTSE 250 company is one thing, but to do it to the exceptional standard that John does is totally something else, you know? Not only that, you know, John has joined our neurodiversity network. He is an active member. You know, he's, he's used those struggles, the strengths that he's found going right throughout his life to inspire other young people in the southwest. So I'm incredibly proud to call John a friend, a colleague, but tonight's rising star. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne, and well done, John. I have to say that I saw John speaking in a crowded room at a Plymouth Neurodiversity event just very recently. As someone who's standing up right now in front of a group of people, let me tell you, it's no mean feat. He did it with complete confidence, assurity, and held the crowd and all their attention. He's absolutely worthy winner of tonight's award. Well done, John. So we're just going to take another little break from award giving to look at a past winner again. So I'd like to introduce you to Laura Tween, founder of Able Hands Together, who won the Community Choice Award last year. Let's watch a short video from Laura and watch out for the goats. Hello, my name's Laura Tween, founder of Able Hands Together. I've been contacted by Genius Within to make a video um, about what it's like being a founder of a company and having neurodiversity. Um, my own needs are, um, I'm autistic and dyslexic and ADHD, and um, it's exactly what's needed to be starting businesses up, that creative thinking, that um, driving energy that's needed to carry things forward. What I have learned through coaching from Genius Within um, is that it's good when you get to a point to start to delegate responsibilities as the business grows. Uh, we now have a staff team of nine people. We have a few managers within that that deal with the day-to-day -day things. And um, I um, approached Access to Work and they gave us some funding. And I now have a funded PA and as I've said, the professional coaching and software for my laptop. Um, it's been so much fun to have the opportunity to create a role at work that I can excel at. And um, yeah, it's been fun. I'll show you some of our goats. Thank you. <laughs> I think her goats are as obedient as my dogs. <laughs> So we're going to have a little look at our social media award a wall again, I think, and see what people have been tweeting. So I'm going to have a little wander over here. 
Um, so, anything else new? We've got the fire and rescue. Oh, Magnus! Yay! All the way from America. Lovely to have you here. Uh, we've got people uh, celebrating the award for Marie um, and uh, a lovely picture up there for, for John. Um, and you saw, sort of, you've got your gra glass plaque, Fiona. Don't lose it or drop it. Uh, and Capco, well done again. And uh, yeah, fantastic. And thank you, John, for your, for your uh, tweet there as well. So everyone having a um, great time. Thank you, Magnus is on there as well, and Natalie. So fantastic. Keep them coming, and we will keep celebrating into the evening um, with stories and sharing posts using the hashtag. So what we are up to next is our Neuro Minority Achiever of the Year. We've had such a large number, number of nominations in this category. I know I keep repeating myself and saying all the categories are large, but they, they really were. And the judges did have a very tough job on their hands. So to announce the winner, please welcome Ian Steer from category sponsor, Mace Group. <laughs> We're proud to celebrate neurodiversity and support these awards with Genius Within. My name is Gail Doyle and I have the privilege of being the co-chair of Enabled at MACE, MACE's disability employee network, and being part of a wonderful and neurodiverse close family. In my work role, I get to appreciate our people bringing their whole selves to work and experience the full talents and benefits that those individuals with unique profiles bring to our business. Let's face it, none of us is the same, but neurodiverse people display exceptional strengths in making the connections that many neurotypical people miss. However, I am also reminded of the challenges that neurodiverse people face, from securing employment in the first place, the incredible resilience they display in keeping up with their work peers, as well as the masking that they very often feel the need to maintain in the workplace. Knowing just how much it takes to be an exceptional achiever, we are therefore really excited to be sponsoring the Neuro Minority Achiever of the Year Award. At MACE, it's our ambition to be the most inclusive employer in the construction industry by 2026 through systemic and lasting change. We are very proud to be working towards being a disability confident leader. This includes working to make our recruitment process more inclusive or eliminate kryptonite if you're a fan of Theo Smith and allow our diverse community to thrive. We know there is still much to do to fully engage with the unique talents of the neurodiverse community and we're excited about continuing to create more opportunities for neurodivergent people at MACE and being part of this celebration with Genius Within. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say I'm very proud to be here and to sponsor the Neuro Minority Award um, on behalf of uh, Gail and myself. Um, it's, a, it's a great honour, so it's lovely to see everybody. Um, this award is about recognising a member of the neuro, neuro Minority community for their incredible achievements, whether that be personal, professional or academic. This year was one of the largest categories with a total of 35 nominations, which goes to show how many people from our community are out there thriving putting into work to achieve their goals. So let's have a look at the nominations. Alex Jameson, Alexandra Notnagel, Ben Atkinson, Brandon Haygood, Chris Wallace, Claudia Collins, Cynthia Wen, Daniel Pickett, Deb Solomon, Dyspraxic For You, Emerald Davey, Emma Berwick, Faye Watts, Gavin Simpson, Giles Valer Adu, Gemma Z. Smith, John Helliwell, Crystal Shaw, Luke Manton, Lynette Wyland, Natasha Fowler, Onyinye Yudokporo, Patrick Guth, Sarah Chapman, Sophie Goldsbury, Thomas Bewley, Tigger Pritchard, Timothy Levy. Well, you can see an amazing set of nominations there, and it's fantastic to see. Um, obviously, the judges had a, a, a really hard job on that to, to make a choice, but we did choose a, a runner-up, and that runner-up is Luke Menton. Wow. 
Um, in the past, Luke has really struggled with his Tourette's, and the judges were keenly aware of his adversity and his, that he has faced. As other people wouldn't employ him, he created his own platform, which... Um, sorry. Uh, which now employs other neurodivergent individuals who are pleased to see, uh, we are pleased to see his success. Congratulations to Luke. And although he can't be here in person, Luke recorded the following acceptance oh, speech. Uh, hi, 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 everyone. Um, thank you so much for my n n n nomination for Neurodiversity Achiever of the Year Award. Ooh, bollocks. Um, I was absolutely honoured to be no n n n n nominated and I am so happy with being named as one of the runner-ups. Um, I've... Oh, fucking hell. I've spent a lot of time over the last year trying to prove that whether you're neurotypical or neurodiverse, ooh, anything in between, to between that you can still achieve what you want to achieve. achieve. Oh, I have done some incredible things over this year, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, fucking hell, and I'm looking to, to forward fucking hell to doing a lot more, 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 more. So congratulations to the winner and congratulations to everyone else that's been not, 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 not nominated. Oh, and I look forward to seeing what you achieve ne 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 next. Thanks. And now to pronounce the winner and the congratulations go to Anyuni Yudu Poro. The judges were really impressed with Anyuni's achievements, sharing her story, building a community and helping others to learn through her online tutoring pr platform. The judges were in awe of her ac accomplishments. Anyuni is a visionary business entrepreneur an inspirational young black dyslexic role model and a powerhouse influencer towards education, policy and change. Anyanyi is here to collect her trophy, so and well done, congratulations. Brilliant. Good evening everyone. I want to begin by thanking all of the judges, some of which I've had the pleasure of sitting with today. The Genius Within team, my friends and my family, and all the people that are here online, and of course, a special thank you to my parents. Receiving this award is something people like me are told they could only ever dream of. I am from an underserved community where people tend to go a lifetime without knowing that they are neurodivergent because they have been marginalized and because support is inaccessible. I was fortunate to be diagnosed with dyslexia aged 11 thanks to the teachers at my secondary school. After coming to terms with it, it took a while and the bullying I experienced didn't help. I decided that dyslexia would no longer be my pain. Dyslexia is my power. I used dyslexia to start a business age 12, complete two degrees at King's College London by age 22 and finish writing my first book as well as being awarded as one of the top 10 oh. black students in oh the UK. My oh my <laughs> to my fellow neuro minorities, I want you to remember that your difference is not only accepted, it is championed and it is celebrated. It is your time to shine. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Wonderful set of nominations and a truly worthy, worthy winner and runner-up. Thank you. So, we're moving on to the final category. This is a very special category because the award winner here was chosen by our community. The category sponsor, Blooming Genius, has asked Paul Stevenson from Genius Within to announce the category nominations and winner on their behalf. Thank you, Paul. Oh. Executive Director at Blooming Genius. Um, as you may have gathered, Blooming Genius is a subsidiary 
of Genius Within. So we're a new organisation that has been set up to support neurodivergent children and young people under the age of 21. So we're very excited to be supporting Genius Within in hosting the Neurodiversity Awards this year and we're actually sponsoring a new category. So the new category is the Community Choice Award and this will be going to those who have been supporting their neurokins and putting in a lot of time and effort into their communities. So thanks to everyone that has been doing this amazing work. We love to see it. Thanks to Genius Within and best of luck to all the nominees. <laughs> This award is the only award given out tonight that was decided by the community itself. You have been voting on social media and tonight we finally find out who you have chosen. The nominees are advocates, role models and people who dedicate time to serving the neuro minority community. In alphabetical order, Akua Opong. <coughs> well, we do have a video, do we? Oh, you read All right then. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the judges were really impressed by her tenacity. She's driving force in diversity and inclusion within the tech sector, who challenges the status quo and builds network of support based around both gender, race and neural diversity. <laughs> Kirsty Forbes. Kirsty is, is a true shining light. That nearly turned out a spoonerism, that didn't it? Sorry. <laughs> Kirsty is a true shining light in the advocacy space, a passionate educator on PDA, parenting, and radical acceptance. She shows her vulnerabil vulnerability to empower others and demonstrates that da, da, da. autistic parents are an ideal resource of, for learning for autists. Sorry, <clears throat> I'll read that again. <clears throat> Autistic parents are an ideal resource for learning to parent autistic children. <laughs> and next, Lynette Wheeland. Lynette has faced challenges both as a result of her neurotype, but also her physical health and personal circumstances growing up. Having achieved her goal of becoming a solicitor, she now dedicates much of her time to clearing a path so others so that others from the neuro minority community can follow her. Her advocacy is tireless and we are moved by her dedication. <laughs> Magnus Hedermark. Magnus was described as a powerhouse in his nomination and the judges agreed. He has always been open in his career about being autistic and neurodivergent leader and that has paved the way for others to be open and to follow too. One detail that the judges particularly loved is how he amplifies the voices and ideas of others, championing those who also need to be heard. <laughs> Samantha Yu. As a founder of ADHD Girls, Sam is a trailblazer when it comes to increasing public awareness about ADHD in women. She's on a social mission to empower ADHD girls and educates on this subject, on the radio, on her social media channels and in her publications. Incredibly hard to pick a winner out of all those worthy nominees. But the community has voted and the winner is... <laughs> Lynette Wyland. Well done, Lynette. So Lynette's not here to accept her award, is she? Or join us in person, but she's recorded a message for us. So here's the message. It's a great honour and privilege to be recognised for the Community Choice Award. Thank you so much to everyone who voted, and in particular, Brown Jacobson, the DNI group, the Inquest and Advisory Team, and the Disability and Conditions Network at Brown Jacobson, and the Law Society and Neurodiversity in Law for their unwavering support of this work. It's so exciting to see so many projects um, filtering through now in the legal profession, promoting um, neurodiverse inclusion. And it's really exciting to be part of that future and eventually see change happening um, so that people have a better experience than what would have been maybe a few years ago. 
I can't wait to see the future of this work um, and the immense strengths come through into professional roles such as law um, from the neurodivergent community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. You had the most amount of speaking to do of anyone. Did very well. <laughs> so we've come to the end of what I think and I hope you agree has been an amazing ceremony. We have had an amazing bunch of people up here that we've celebrated. And thank you for everyone who nominated somebody. Um, without you, we wouldn't have a chance to shine um, and show the world what we can do. By championing the positive and by celebrating the achievements of the ND community, we can build acceptance and appreciation of what different minds can do. And as ADHD said, even bring joy. I have absolutely loved being able to host the awards in person this year and I hope you've enjoyed hearing all the inspirational stories and taking a moment out of our busy lives to reflect and celebrate what an amazing ND community has achieved in the last 12 months. We will be opening the nominations soon for next year, so please keep an eye out. And as Nancy said earlier, you don't have to be a special person or invited. Anybody can nominate and we encourage you to do so. And just before I close the awards today, I would like to say a few thank yous, so I hope you will indulge me. First of all, I would like to thank the most amazing and awesome studio team here at London Stock Exchange Group. <laughs> Nothing has been too much trouble for them and they have been an absolute delight and thank you very, very much. Um, thank you as well, Akua for your amazing support. You have been <laughs> such an inspiration and just so lovely. And it's all going to be fine, Jackie. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Um, thank you very much to My Clear Text for providing our um, uh, captioning um, at home and in the room. A massive thank you to Attendable. You can't see her, Catherine over there and, and Sarah's out in the other room who've been absolute superstars and frankly kept me sane in the last month. So thank you very much, both of you. And to my team at Genius Within. You guys really are the best. There's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes that you guys haven't seen and they have been working literally night and day. So especially to the social media team, I don't want to see any of you at work tomorrow. <laughs> um, finally, I would like to thank all of you for joining us in the room and online. It's, uh, without you, we have nothing to celebrate. Our judges for their amazing work, thank you very much. And importantly, to our amazing nominees, who just gifted us the most amazing moment to celebrate today. Please keep celebrating, please keep sharing, keep using the hashtag so others can be inspired by you. Today, it has been my absolute pleasure to enable our community to shine. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you all next year. It's your time. It's your time.